So this is mathematics first quarter module 8 subsets of real numbers. This is a complete answer of the module. And before to proceed, kindly like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's proceed to the next page. So let's answer what I know. Okay. Now, number one, a number that can be expressed as quotient of two integers a over b. So this is actually a rational number. Number two, the set of integers consists of the following real numbers except Okay, set of integers, zero, negative numbers, and positive numbers are set of integers. Letter A, irrational number. Which of the following expression is true statement? So the answer is letter B, negative 5 should be less than positive 5. Okay, number 4. If 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10, which of the following is the same as 4 cubed? So this is 4 cubed in expanded form, that's 4 times 4 times 4. Okay, number 5. Number five, the square root of 12 lies between two integers, three and four. Which of the following statement is true? So, the correct notation is three is less than square root of 12, but less than four. Okay, number six, simplify 12 minus eight plus absolute value of negative four is how much? So this is four. 12 minus eight is four, plus this is four equals eight, letter A. So number seven, which of the following expression is a true statement? True statement is letter D. Absolute value of negative four is equal to absolute value of positive four. Okay, number eight. Which of the following series of numbers arranged in increasing order? So increasing order is from the least down to the highest. Oh. Okay, so this letter C. Least, negative 6, negative 1, 0, 5, and 12. Number 9, which of the following series of numbers arranged in decreasing order? So, by this time, it's the opposite, from the highest down to the lowest. So, it's letter D, 9, 8, 4, negative 4, negative 15. Okay, let's have number 10. Set A, which contains elements X such that X are even numbers between 1 and 12. So, to correct this one, this is set X, which contains element X such that such that x should this should be a singular form of the verb is an even in number without s between 1 and 12 so which of the following are the elements of a so in between 1 and 12 1 is not included and 12 is not included so even numbers it's letter b 2 4 6 8 even numbers 2 4 6 8 and 10 it's letter d even number 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Next, number 11. Okay. So, number 11. In set B, whose elements are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, which of the following is the subset of B? So, if you remember the subset, look at the choices in which the, the elements were found on B. So, only letter B. 3, 3 7, 9, 10. So, it's letter B. This is a subset of set B. 12. Which of the following number relations is a true statement? Okay. Now, so this is letter A. Because when you are to check, how to check this one? So, you will multiply cross multiplication. 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 times 1, that's 3. 2 times 1, that's 2. And 3 is greater than 2. So, therefore, one half is greater than one third. So therefore, this is correct. Which of the following is a series of numbers shows the order from least to greatest? So least to greatest? Okay, it's letter B. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Number 14, which of the following series of numbers shows the order from greatest to least? It's, now this time, it's the opposite. So the answer is letter D. 1, 2, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. So consider the number line. Which point shows square root of 64? Now, square root of 64 is 8, positive, negative 8. And the answer is letter D, letter C. Okay, it's D, 8. Now, let's have what's in. Okay, what's in? Must the principal root of the given number in column A with the number line in column B. So, number 1 is square root of 64. This is letter B. Square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 8, it's letter C. So, it is between 2 and 3. Square root of 25, this is 5. It's letter A. Then, square root of 12, it's letter E. It's between 3 and 4. And number 5, square root of 32, this is letter D. 
it's between 5 and 6. Now, letter okay, letter B, complete the table below, put a check mark on to classify its root. If rational num uh, describe the two integers between which uh, the square root of a number is. So, they're given a square root of 64, so this is rational. Square root of 8, this is irrational, and this is between uh, the integer 2 and 3. Now, square root of 25, this is rational. Square root of 12, this is irrational. This is between 3 and 4. Square root of 32, this is irrational, and this is between 5 and 6. Okay, next. Now here is it, the what's new. Check me. Now determine the subset of real numbers to which each number belong. Check box. Check the box on your choice. So let's have let's focus on the given. So negative 8.6, so this is a rational number. Number 2, 20, this is whole number. This is also an integer, and this is also a rational number. Now square root of 64. Square root of 62 is a rational number. A rational number. And number 4, 5 times pi over 6, this is a rational number. And number 5, 12 over 4, this is rational number. Okay, it's appearance of the given. Okay, what's, what is it? So task 1 below is the hierarchy chart of the set of uh, real numbers. Okay, so at the top most is the real numbers. So, subset of it are rational numbers and irrational numbers. So, example of rational numbers are negative 8.6 and 12 over 4. Irrational numbers, examples as 5 pi divided by 6. Okay, next to it, directly is integers. And integers, talking about integers, we have positive integers, negative integers, and zero. And these positive integers... Okay, so there are two subsets also. We have whole numbers and uh, counting numbers or natural numbers. So whole numbers, this counting starts with zero and counting numbers starts with one. Okay, now next. So here is it. Independent activity one. Represent the following set of numbers in the number line. Write your illustration on a piece of paper. So, <clears throat> this is number one. The set of real numbers greater than or equal to negative three. So, this is negative three and greater than is going to the right. Okay, solid on negative three. The set of real numbers greater than negative 2 but less than 6 so greater than negative 2 it doesn't include 2 negative 2 and it doesn't include positive 6 so therefore a whole on 6 and a whole on negative 2 okay number 3 the set of real numbers greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 7 so a solid fill on 1 because 1 is included and solid field on 7 because 7 is included. You connect the two, so this is the graph. The set of real numbers less than 3. Less than 3, is, meaning 3 is not included. So on 3, a whole going to the left because less than. Number 5, number 5, the set of real numbers greater than negative 1. Greater than negative 1, so negative 1 is not included. So on negative 1, it's a whole going to the right. Independent assessment 1, whether I am, directions locate the following numbers on the number line by naming the correct points using the letters right, the answers on the answer sheets. So number 1 is negative 1 and 1 half, it's letter D here, situated here. 1.25 is letter F, 1.25 is letter F here, and 5 is letter K, so here, K. And negative 3.5 is letter A, between negative 3 and 4. And 5 is negative 2.66 is letter B here, between negative 2 and negative 3. And 6 and 3.333 is letter H here, letter H between 3 and 4. 7 is negative 0 0.3 is letter E here. Okay, now next, 2 and 3 fourths is letter G between 2 and 3 here. And negative 2 is letter C. And 4 and 3 fourths is letter J. Letter J, okay, 4 and 3, 4, 4 and 3, 4, here. Okay, next. 
Okay, independent activity two, it's meeting real numbers in the number line. So read each item carefully and write the answer in your quiz notebook. So which letter B shows negative 28? It's letter B here. Okay, which letter B shows negative 67? It's letter B. Now, number three, which letter shows negative 19? It's letter B still. And which, oh, which letter B best shows negative 117? It's after on the left of negative 93, it's letter A. Number five, which letter best shows negative 27? It's letter B here. Okay. Now, letter D, independent assessment two, fill in the black box with the correct relation symbols greater than, less than, or equal to. So, negative three is greater than negative 12. Negative one is less than one. So, number three, six is greater than negative six. Absolute value of negative 10 is equal to 10. Negative 7 is less than absolute value of negative 7 so because this is 7. This is negative 7, so less than. Now, independent activity 3, which are multiple choice. Choose the correct answer and write the letter in your answer sheet. So, which of the following series of numbers arranged in ascending order from lowest to greatest? So, it's letter B. So, negative 9, negative 3, 6, 11, and 12. Which of the following series of numbers arranged in descending orders is the opposite? Letter A, it's 6, 0, negative 15, negative 17, negative 20. Which choice shows the values of the least to greatest? It's letter A. We have 6, 1, 4, and 8. Okay, number 4. Which shows, choice shows the values from greatest to least? It's letter C. Which choice shows the values from greatest to least? It's letter A. Now next. Here is it. So read its situation carefully and determine what subset of real numbers is represented. Choose the answer from the terms inside the box. Okay, here are the, the terms inside the box. Wind speed is 10.754, 3 4, and 25.78. So this is decimal, this is fraction, and these are all rational. 127 text messages, 50 cents per text message. So 127, this is rational, this is whole number, this is positive integer, and this is integer, and this is natural number. Uh, the temperature of negative 27 degrees Celsius, this is rational, then 3 degrees, this is integer, this is negative integer. 520 students in assembly, 384 are juniors and rest are seniors. So this is rational number, whole number. Uh, positive integer, integer natural numbers counting numbers. And the ratio of the circumference of the center the, of a circle to its diameter denoted as pi. So pi is an irrational number. Assessment. Read each item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answers on your answer sheets. Okay, number one. If five cube equals to five, expanded from five times five times five, which of the following is the same as three to the power of four? Okay, this is 3 times 3, you multiply 3 4 times by itself, it's letter D. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. The square root of 32 lies between two integers 5 and 6, which of the following statement is true? So that is letter D. 5 is less than square root of 32, but square root of 32 is less than 6. Which of the following series of numbers arranged in ascending order? It's from least to greatest. It's letter B, negative 7, negative 3, 0, 3, and 7. If set A, which contains elements X such that X is a consecutive even number between 1 and 12, which of the following is true? So R, replace it to is. Then number is cancel S. So the answer is letter D, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If set B, whose elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10, which of the following is a subset of B? So the answer is letter A. 1, 2, 3, 5. All of the elements, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 5, were found on set B. So this is a subset of set B. 6. Which of the following number? Okay, which of the following number relation is true statement? So square root of 8 is greater than cube root of 8. So this is letter A. Which of the following series of numbers shows the order from least to greatest? Least to greatest is letter A, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Number 8, which of the following series of numbers shows the order from greatest to least? So the answer is letter C, 10, 9, 8, negative 9, and negative 10. Consider the number line A, B, C, D. Which point shows square root of 16? Square root of 16 is 4. 
So where is force? It's letter point B and letter A. Which of the following number relation is a true statement? So it's letter B. Negative 5 is less than 5. Simplify 12 plus 5 minus pero, uh, uh, no, absolute value of negative 4 is the how much? So this is 12 plus 5 is 17 minus 4. 17 minus 4 is 13. It's letter D. Which of the following expression is a true statement? So letter C, it's negative absolute value of negative 4 is greater than negative times absolute value of 4. Which of the following series of numbers are raised in increasing order? It's letter C, negative 6, negative 1, 0, 5, and 12. Which of the following set of numbers were negative 3, negative 2, negative 1? These are integers. Number 15, the numbers, the number line, here is it, shows the following numbers relation. So this is letter B, the set of real numbers equal to or greater than 4 here. Because this is field, solid field, this is... 4 is included in the value, is going to the, and it is going to the right. Therefore, this is from 4 to the numbers greater than 4, or the set of real numbers equal to, equal to or greater than 4. Thank you.